1220 KBET. Santa Clarita in the year 2000. Santa Clarita Mayor Jan Height. Uh, what changes do you see in Santa Clarita for the year 2000 as far as changes in city government and some of the things it may be doing then? I see um, that we're going to be uh, having to put a lot more effort, um, time, and money into our young people uh, because that seems to be um, the beginning problems we have today. Um, I, I think we need to do more in the way of... of parenting. I think we need to do more in the way of activities and identifying kids that are having problems and um, make sure that um, we can we can help families overcome this. Not go out there and be a social service agency, but to be a more of a facilitator in getting things for our community and keeping it a family-oriented community. Uh, one of the other things um, that I think will be, be well on our way is the revitalization of the Newhall area. Uh, right now we're just finishing up the Stage 1 plan, and we'll probably embark on Stage 2, uh, which is exactly the specifics of what we're going to do and how we're going to finance it. And I'm hoping uh, that um, perhaps other parts of our community, like Canyon Country and Saugus, uh, will undergo a similar um, uh, planning effort uh, to um, uh, keep them vital and, and moving into the, uh, the next century. I see that we have a completion of a number of roads, uh, White's Canyon Bridge, um, the uh, connection uh, into Plum Canyon, uh, the widening of San Fernando Road and uh, Magic Mountain Parkway, widening of Soledad uh, east of Sand and uh, some bridge work on Sierra Highway and Soledad should give us a fairly good network uh, for transportation. Also I see that our transit services uh, both locally and downtown um, and throughout other parts of the basin will increase as well as Metrolink service. So um, I think we have a bright uh, future to look forward to in this community. Mayor Height, uh, do you expect any uh, changes in population as we look towards the year 2000 here in Santa Clarita? I think the po population will grow in a modest uh, fashion. Um, I think it's about 2.5% a year now. And I, I don't look forward to that uh, changing uh, that much because of the economy. And, and I think we're a ways... Um, to get out of what's going on in this community, uh, this economy in California today, I think we've got another seven to ten years to work our way out of it. So I don't see us as being um, uh, a high growth area, but a planned growth area. We're speaking with Santa Clarita Mayor Jan Height. Uh, Mayor Height, do you expect Santa Clarita to have a new city hall or a new civic center by the year 2000? I think that depends a lot on. Uh, how the economy goes. If the economy is goes well, then um, I think we'll go ahead and do it. If it if it is as lackluster as it is today, then I, we'll you know put it off um, until we can afford it. Um, we'll have the plans on the shelf by then and ready to go in case any kinds of um, uh, grants or other monies come in. But um, I think we have to look ahead and see um, what the economy is going to be, and we don't know what that's going to be yet. Mayor, how about recreation facilities? Do you expect those to continue to expand towards the year 2000 and beyond? Well, by the year 2000, we will have completed essentially the major um, sections of our trail system uh, for equestrians, for bicyclists, for walkers and joggers, and um, that will help connect our uh, various parts of our city so that people can use those uh, alternate means of transportation to get around. Um, I see nothing but growth in the, uh, in the parks and recreation programs because the community is really involved in that and, and uh, I think it's an important part of our, our family oriented uh, community to, to keep parks and recreation vital. Jan Height, mayor of the city of Santa Clarita, do you see uh, the city itself getting larger in size as we head towards the year 2000? I don't see um, any large annexations unless we can get commercial properties to go with it because when you just annex residential, um, it, it puts a burden on the rest of the community, on the rest of the city. 
to pay for those services. So always annexing uh, with some commercial property is, is very um, helpful. The other thing, too, is, is that I see um, because we want to protect the river, because we want to protect the, the hills and ridgelines and um, the mountains, um, that you probably see more compact development to, um, to um, save those areas. Also, more compact development allows us to provide services like transit and uh, that sort of thing um, easier. And, and it's awfully hard when you build up and down canyons to run bus lines up and down there. Mayor, looking towards our future here in Santa Clarita, do you see city government uh, changing in any way on the horizon, perhaps maybe even a full-time mayor down the road? Uh, no. Mm -mm. I, I think that um, the less political it remains, the better it is for everyone. I, I think it's, as long as it's run like a board of directors... Uh, where people are very cognizant of the taxpayers' money and what they want for this community, that um, uh, it, it won't get political. And um, <clears throat> I, I think uh, there's a, an excellent staff here. We're um, on a good information system uh, with computers and everything, which allows the city of Santa Cruz to do more work with fewer people. And I see that continuing. I, I would hate to see it get more political. Thank you, Mayor Jan Height, Mayor of the City of Santa Clarita, with her unique perspective on the future of Santa Clarita looking towards the year 2000.